Use the beauty of algebra to simplify. Our problem is x to the 6 plus a squared x to the 3rd y over x to the 6 minus a to the 4th y squared. Use your knowledge of algebra to simplify this expression. Pause it, see if you can do it. All right, I'm of course gonna show you how to simplify this. That's the whole point of this video. All right, let's talk about the numerator first. I see an x to the third in both parts. We're separated by this little plus sign. So if I pull out an x to the third from both parts, the first part, x to the sixth minus x to the third, is an x to the third. Plus the inside, what's left over is a squared y. Now the denominator I'm also going to work with. I see every single one of these values is a number squared. x to the sixth is x to the third power squared minus the second set of terms a squared y all squared gives me a to the fourth y squared. Now let's look at the denominator again. We have a difference of squares, meaning we can rewrite this denominator as x to the third minus an a squared y times an x to the third plus an a squared y. That would cancel out. Remember each term, we have the x to the third and a squared y as our second term broken up here. Numerator stays the same, x to the third x to the third plus a squared y. Well, hopefully this is the beauty of algebra that you're seeing here. x to the third plus a squared y is repeated in the numerator and denominator, and it's being multiplied. We cross those bad boys out, and we're left with our simplification. x to the third over an x to the third minus an a squared y. Well, I hope you learned something here about, well, how algebra can be beautiful and how to simplify an algebraic expression that's complex. If you did learn something or you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always here, thanks for watching.